what's going on, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Rundown Podcast. Or not Rundown Podcast, because we're not doing it first. It's uh, the Rundown Retrospect. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> uh, the Rundown Retrospect. Um, as always, I am your host, Michael, alongside the man of the hour, Mr. Jeff himself. What's going on, everybody? And, as always, Big Daily Grin, Mr. Evan. What's going on, dude? Hey, guys. And our special, awesome, super creative entrepreneur himself greasy gamer what's going on dude yo what up what up how's it going with you man how you how you feeling good uh taking a break from the website all the apps and all that stuff so we're here how come what, what's got you taking a break uh just kind of been working on it all week so um kind of took this weekend to kind of chill out and you know enjoy some time with with the wife and the oh, so it's just a weekend thing not like a yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's Tired, like bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Just chilling this weekend. So getting back to it tomorrow. So. All right. So what? So before we get into that, because I, I want to come back to that here in just a second. But for everybody yeah. that doesn't know, um, what do you call it, uh, Jeff? Their ASM. Oh yeah, your ASL. ASL. What's, what's, what's your aim, dude? <laughs> what's your stack location? <laughs> All right, so um, Greasy, people call me Greasy. Um, GreasyGamer.com is the website. It's a uh, social media site for gamers. So think Twitter or Facebook, but without the you know religion, politics, uh, all the other bull crap, it's just gamers being gamers. You can, um, it's all username based, so you don't even have to, you know, give out your full name, your age, whatever, like. It allows you to just be who you are online. So that's, that's awesome. That's like a quick brief rundown on it. So give us a rundown on where exactly did the name Greasy Gamer come from? <clears throat> All right. So back when I had this idea, it was uh, February 2020. Um, I was on, I think I was on Facebook. And I was like, bro, this is just so, like, I get on here and it's just scrolling past crap that I don't care about. Like, I only have a certain amount of time during the day to relax and just go through the social feed. So I want to see, you know, gaming content, which you can filter by, you know, only friending people that do games and stuff. But, you know, Mm -hmm. there's still random stuff on there that you just don't really care about. So... Back in the day, I used to be on MySpace a lot, and that was my jam. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> customizing your profile and you know doing your music and all that. Arguing so, with people on who's going to be your top one, top eight, yeah, yeah. top one. <laughs> yeah, you took me out of your top five. What, what's going on, buddy? We're we not yeah, friends anymore. A lot of, a lot of breakups. Yep. So um, <laughs> that, that, that's when I, you knew a breakup happened was when that oh, yeah. girl or guy was no longer like up there anymore. Like, oh, they split up. <laughs> <laughs> you still kept them as friends though, because like you know. You got because you're not a, a douchebag, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know, man. Um, I just kind of wanted that MySpace vibe again, so I was like, nobody else is making it, so why not just make it myself? So I came up with the idea, um, Aprilish, I believe. So February through April, I kind of worked on coming up with the idea, you know, coding the site, and then just hit, you know, hit go live on it and. Um. yeah that's pretty much it so Greasy Gamer I was like okay what do I name it so in my head I was like I want to make this a gaming site so mm-hmm. what is something that gamers could relate to and you know GG's is a thing so I was like alright I really want to use GG as a logo now how can I use it as a logo if I'm going to name the site peanutbutter.com like that's not going to work so it has to be something with you know GG <laughs> so Peanut butter. I, love it. <laughs> I literally went on Google and I typed in words that begin with G and I literally just grabbed two of them and I wanted gamer in the name so people would associate with that. Right. And then greasy, I was like, you know, people get, you know, super sweaty. You got the tryhards, like, you know, they're really greasy dudes. Mm-hmm. And then uh, also back in Fortnite, I was playing Fortnite with my wife and um, there used to be a place called Greasy Grove, so. I was like, you know, let's just let's run with it. So, Greasy Gamer, GG, that's where we're at. So, so it's yeah. kind of like, seems like it all kind of just fell into place. Like, 
without even knowing it, which is really cool. Yeah, sort of. Um, I knew I had the idea. It's really just about picking the pieces and the parts to build it. So. Right, right. Like, like hey, I want to like make this car, but I need these parts to make this car. But yeah. like, yeah. So yeah, I get it. That's, that's yeah. super cool. Though. I like that. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of how it originated, and from then on, it's just been a building, 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 and you know, we get suggestions from people and stuff, and try to add it to the site, and eventually it'll be kind of like the i want it to be the envision was myspace for gamers so Mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're pushing for yeah i like that i like that concept because like myspace had disappeared yeah a few few years after facebook came out right yeah Uh, i think um i think a lot of people from myspace went to facebook and it just kind of you know pulled people over so which and then they never migrated back because like myspace is still around yeah, They're still doing stuff. Yeah, but. it's owned yeah. by it's owned by Justin Timberlake, and he turned it into more of a music platform, mm-hmm. um, for up and coming mu- uh, music artists. But well, hang on, I'm deleting my account right now. So, <laughs> bro, I don't, don't remember against, how to log in. You don't. What the hell you got against Justin Timberlake? I, nothing, actually. I, I love Justin Timberlake. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. So, so what he did, like he he acted in the social network. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna buy MySpace. So, uh, <laughs> shit. I mean, maybe He's more like, oh, than I, revenue I income. No. <laughs> so, and that was going back to that for just a quick second because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about them too much. But it's 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 always been super weird to me that like people migrated towards Facebook when MySpace was out because and and I didn't for the longest time. Like I, I was on there until nobody else I could talk to was on there. Same. Yeah. Um, because you could do more on MySpace, which was was a weird thing to me about it, was all these people are going to this Facebook. But when you look at MySpace, you could could categorize your friends list, and you could have Mm. songs on there that played when people went to your profile, or you could, you know, customize your profile in all these different ways, and you couldn't do any of that shit on Facebook. So I guess maybe it was just something that was new, and everybody was like, oh, everybody else is there, you know, let me jump over there. But it was just always really confusing to me on why they did that in the first place. Yeah. Which is crazy because, like, Facebook has been around for 14 years, 15 years, somewhere around in there. Yeah. Um, and they still haven't developed a customizable profile to the degree that MySpace did. Mm-hmm. I don't think they really want to, though. No. Thing. Yeah. Uh, like, the, yeah, they just want that clean aesthetic mm-hmm. or whatever. But um, what, I, what I really like about Greasy Gamer is, like, it's that same feel, but you can add your own twist to it like you can do backgrounds colors all that good stuff um yeah we tried to keep it very kind of what people are used to we don't want to you know give you a whole new basically book to read on how to use the website like we want you to be able to log in sign up take you through the steps of setting up your profile and then just let you run with it so you can like you said, you can you can add your own background, you can do a cover photo and stuff. Like you can do things that gives you a little bit of creativity, but also it's kind of structured to where it's it's familiar, but you can kind of adjust it to be your own thing, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, it's we're adding stuff all the time. Um you could, music is the next big thing that we want to add to it. So mm-hmm. and that's super exciting. Um but just yeah, watching, yeah, just watching the site develop over the last, I mean, just the few months I've known you, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. How sure. long has the site been out? Uh, so the site, originally, it was released in April 2020. Um, we we were running on a different platform then. Uh, it was more of like a forum-based platform, and we were, each day it was like a coding thing to where, like, how do we get it to look? like a certain way and then what was it uh honestly i think it was january 1st this year um we said new year new us so just went with a whole new php back end on it and just are building it from there so you said new all of you yeah <laughs> make those profiles again <laughs> yeah it it was you know we i think we had 1500 members or something like that oh so, wow yeah, like within a one year, that's not bad, but that's really good. It was like the only reason that we had to get people to make new profiles is because 
the way that it was structured in the old database, it was not going to, you know, go over to the new one as we wanted it to. So right. uh, it's kind of like a, you had to make a new profile to get the new benefits kind of thing. So mm -hmm. it sucks that you have to make a new profile and recustomize things, but the new site in general is just, it's far beyond yeah. what we had on the first site. So. I mean, it's, it's only like a f shit. Aside from like adding all the people that you were friends with, mm -hmm. it's like a five minute inconvenience. It's not that bad. Right. Well, right. I'm just I'm so, just kind of curious. Yeah. Like, what exactly causes that? Like, why why is that had why has that happened the couple of times that it has happened? So, the first time uh, that was just because we moved completely new site. So okay, that was you know understandable. The second mm -hmm. time, the um, the server we run on a um, uh, what's it called a VPS like a virtual server mm -hmm. so with them um something i don't remember what it was but something happened it crashed the database was basically wiped clean so we still had the site but no user data was in there so mm -hmm. oh wow so it was it sucks because you know we did learn from it like keeping our own backups and stuff so it sh shouldn't happen again um but then also we didn't lose the entire site, which would have been more to set up, you know? So basically we just had to turn it back on and let people re-sign up. But to kind of give back to everyone, um, actually for the next seven days, the next week, uh, all new signups are verified instantly. Like you get the check mark. So nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Because yeah, you're time doing like year, the, it's like the first thousand, right? Uh, there's doing? not even a limit. There's not a limit to it. It's just whoever signs uh, up before uh, March 1st. So yep. and then they'll have the verified tick. And then, you know, a year from now when there's thousands of people on there, they'll be the ones that have the the status like people do on Twitter. So that's yeah. all. Yeah. And then, My uh, first check mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So, Outside of Pornhub. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's under a different name. No, I just, yeah. I always, yeah. I like to bring up that joke because, uh, like, I think it's, I'd have to go back and look, but I think it's the very first podcast that Jeff and I ever recorded. Uh, we had a conversation about how Ninja was getting, like, Pornhub ads and shit like that on his chan on his old channel because he went from Twitch to Mixer. And then yeah. somehow his shit got hacked, uh, and he was getting <laughs> Pornhub ads on his Twitch account, even though he was over on Mixer. And then somehow or another, that conversation led into, like, how do you get verified on Pornhub? But I just I like to bring that up because that's one of the early conversations that we had back in the M3 gaming days. Um, that's sick. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, though. how Whenever you, like, so the concepts to development, right? How much of a nightmare was that to just actually get the site going and like get everything set into place to to build it? Um. So you're saying basically how much? How hard was it developing the entire site? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So like or, yeah, or, like, yeah. Like th that instance from where it's like like concept, right? Like in your head, mm -hmm. you're like, I want to design this website to actually like bring it to fruition and like going from there. Like how much of a, a challenge was that? So there's different ways to do it. You can literally start from a blank template where you just open up Notepad and just get going. Uh, there's also sites out there where you can, you know, you can have like a base platform and just build on it. So the first one we had was a Zenforo, which is a popular forum platform that people use. Um, this new one that we're on is a PHP platform. So the template's kind of already built out, but, you know, we had to like, add our own um what do you call it uh basically it gave us a skeleton now we have to customize it to how we want it you know so it's it's a little tricky to you know start understanding it but like the the longer you work at it the more you recognize like okay this file shouldn't be here this one needs to be changed like everything was working fine until i changed this file so let's you know, change it back, make sure everything's running again. So, yeah, it's like a lot of like little tweaks and readjustments. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's um, it's not as 
I wouldn't say it's as difficult. It's challenging. It's, you know, making sure everything is the way that you want it. Like that you can envision in your head, getting it onto the site is the hardest part. So, right. Cause you like, you always have like a huge, like imagination of like what you want to do or like mm -hmm. um, a, a really big concept, but, like that, the transition from pen and paper to digital is like a, a really big, like sometimes it right. can be a huge obstacle. Right. Uh, and, it also, I mean, there's other websites built and stuff, but they have like full teams on Greasy Gamer. It's, it's just me, really. So having to code everything myself and learn as I go, it's because um, until until the site, I didn't know how to code PHP. I didn't know how to do my SQL databases. So like I've had to just learn all that on the go. It actually makes it even more impressive, though. Like just the, the uh, fact yeah. that you're able to, to build so well and it's something to such a high degree just off of like learning on your own, you know, like that's yeah. it's a lot of Googling, dude. <laughs> a, lot of Googling. a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. No, I, Google, I, tired. I think, I think that's amazing to kind of when, cause like you said, it just, it all started off of a whim from just looking at, you know, Facebook mm -hmm. and then you're just like, well, I want something like this, but I want it for this. And then you actually, you know, put your mind to it and you put it all together and you know you had to teach yourself stuff that you probably never would have thought you learned or would ever learn right which no i think that's pretty cool because I, I mean i know me you know i did the same thing with the podcast i didn't know how to audio edit or video edit or uh -huh. you know how to make things pop up on the screen or just any anything <laughs> right. that you know i didn't know how to do any of that shit um yeah so you said you you know you're taking a break for the weekend and stuff like that mm -hmm. so when it comes to the website itself What's a normal week for you managing the, the website look like? So, um, since last year, we I've actually, I've brought on some people to help me out. Like, um, uh, people that have, like, a, a, a good skill set that I could use that, <clears throat> you know, it helps me focus on the things that I need to do. So, um, brought on um, a pretty good staff. We have a... Uh, we have Vam, Kitty, uh, John, Skills That Kills. Y'all know him. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we brought Kyle over. So we, we have like a pretty good, you know, little unit that they each one of them has their own skill set. So while I focus on coding the site itself mm -hmm. and making sure that we can add, uh, like recently, last week, um, instead of having like a like icon, I changed it to where it's you can GG stuff. You know, so we removed all the negative vibes. So we removed, you know, the, the sad face, the thumbs down. Like, there's no need for that. So now it's just a GG icon. So a universal at, symbol. Yeah. yeah, right. So I like that. Um, it's just things like that, like things that we kind of discuss. Um, so like the, the members that I just listed, the staff members, um, we have like a weekly meeting where we go over ideas of what we should add to the site, what suggestions that we have all received and you know just kind of have like a little powwow and mm -hmm. talk about things so we do that uh throughout the week everybody kind of handles the the task that they're assigned and you know we just kind of keep track of things um really it just comes down to whatever's popping up on the site so um this week per se um we're going to try and add in a couple of new things. The, the marketplace that we have, you can now, um, you can rate sellers on there. You can leave reviews. We are going to try and incorporate like a currency on the site to where users can upload money into their wallet and use that to buy services on their products, uh, merch, <clears throat> just, you know, whatever. So, so is that, so does that like kind of like, uh, deviate from like people having to upload like credit card numbers or, or anything like that or like debit cards yeah so we're just going to run off paypal i think so you just hop on the paypal upload money to your wallet and then you got gg coins on there so makes sense i like oh, it yeah. so that's that's like the idea that we have so now we got the idea so like what's the best way to go to implement it so that's what we're going to be working on this week just things like that so what Very are cool. what are some other avenues that you may want to venture, whether it's on your own or on the website, kind of later on down the road? Um, that could be a year out, two years out, five years out. 
Um, Greasy IPA. <laughs> Honestly, hey, you never know. I'm into it. Like it. Every a, gamer's like go to yeah. choice beer. I love it. Right. Um probably that'd be good though, because we'll we'll judge harshly. Yeah. Yeah, oh, do, yeah. do like a, a greasy craft package yeah. and you just get like ten beers. <laughs> I mean that's like, not outside couple, the realms, like, dude. It's a not... couple of like greasy specific beers and then maybe some top choices from Greasy himself and then some yeah. sandwiches. Gre- yeah, greasy selects. Crazy selects. We'll just brand the whole thing, just whatever you can throw on the end of it. Yep. Uh, we're well, marketing think, here, dude. Like we're good. <laughs> hey, whatever ideas you got, we're down. Um, I think we want to eventually. I don't know for sure if we are going to turn it into a streaming site as well, but I feel like that would be an well, extra benefit to it. I don't it's kind of we... like that already, though, isn't it? As far as like being able to go to that person's profile and see that they're streaming? It's, yeah, yeah, so... it's more like a hosting. Hosting. Okay. Right. All right. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking like login, like go on OBS, hit go live on Greasy Gamer, and then we're hosting yep. you on our site. So okay. Gotcha. I don't know if that's the play or not. I mean, there's already a few other... It's going to be hard to pull from Twitch, so... Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of just like a. We might go down the avenue of like helping streamers that are on Twitch and stuff. Like whatever we can think of to help them. So, like storage or something. I don't know. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's it, it, right now. We're still in development phase. Like as far as what the overall picture is for me, I want it to be. The one-stop shop for gamers. So, mm-hmm. if you're a gamer, you turn on your computer, open up your homepage, and it goes right to Greasy Gamer. That's the goal. Mm-hmm. So, getting to that is, you know, that's the steps when you take. Are there any? Uh, so, what? I mean, I know you've discussed a, a, you know some of it, but like, what's uh, like something that you're you're planning on implementing that you might not have this like divulged already? Like what's is there like a secret that like something in the works that you don't? All right, uh, Lauer. <laughs> You're digging. I respect it. Um, <laughs> I'm just cu- we, I'm curious. We have a couple of ideas that I think would be a game changer. Uh, one in particular that I don't know how much I'm supposed to share to be honest, but we have a couple of ideas that could really shake up things and. I respect kind of be yeah be the place that I gotta be careful with the words. Oh, he's ducking and dodging. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. okay. I I respect it. I mean, it's 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 completely understandable. Yeah, no, I'm not mad about it at all. No. Uh-uh. So, yeah, we're. I mean, just know that we're we got some big ideas now. Implementing those is a huge. That's a different story. So we can have all the ideas, but making them actually work on the site is pain in the ass. So, so right. a question. A question that I get a lot for the podcast, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's a question I want to kind of steer towards you, is if the community or you know YouTube viewers or podcast listeners, if if mm-hmm. they can if they can help your site in any way, shape, or form, how could they do that? Just word of mouth, man. Um, it's hard to so we're still a little fish in a comp, like a massive ocean so mm-hmm. always people, a bigger fish right always so, a bigger fish that's right so just getting Quite the word you. out man like so the power of one I'm sure y'all have heard it and stuff mm-hmm. before so mm-hmm. basically one person tells their seven friends each one of those friends tells their some seven friends so just you know if one person can feel like the site is worth talking about mm-hmm. then we're doing good so right it's more or less just like um if if you appreciate the site if you like the the ideas the goals that we have in mind you know just let everybody know just no I, also, I think I that's mean, a great answer because i mean yeah. like i said i was i get asked that question at least once a week and i mean that's that's pretty much exactly what i tell them is you know quote unquote word of mouth you know yeah, just, I mean, that's it. just tell people you know hey if you like podcasts yeah find your respective podcast and I, you know i promise you run there 
right because yeah. i mean like we're all content creators and like the, the biggest marketing tool that you have is word of mouth like mm -hmm. i mean you can put right. as much shit as you want but like at the end of the day a click isn't as good uh, as someone knowing about exactly what you are and then mm -hmm. them having that desire to click on your website or your channel or whatever the case might be. Um, so that like word of mouth is in my opinion, the strongest thing that you have. It is. Yeah. So that's, we have like sponsored streamers. We have, um, you know, sponsored orgs. So with them, we kind of, we kind of hand select some of these people, but then also we've had uh, like applications and stuff to where, we scout these people out and just make, <laughs> I see you, Evan. <laughs> so we scout these people out and like make sure that they fit the, the image that we want to portray through our brand. So, um, so what does that, what does that entail? So, um, I may cut you off. I was just curious. No, you good. So what do you mean as far as in, like scouting them out or like, what do we like, like the overall, I, well, I guess you were getting to that, like the overall sponsorship, like what is that? You know entail for you what does that entail for the yeah no there? i'm glad you asked that because that was gonna be my next question is if you could go into oh, okay ex yeah exactly what jeff said yeah. <laughs> okay so Just um tweet us the deets dude gotcha so with the sponsored streamers um what it is is they automatically get the uh sponsored title on the site so when you see their names pop up you see that they're sponsored they're heavily associated with us um automatic verified which you know doesn't matter right now because everybody is, but after March first, it'll start mattering more. But those are for um, the for the original OGs, right? 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 Um, their streams are actually on our streams page. Their streams are automatically promoted to the very top. So, Ooh. let's say you, if you're a sponsored streamer, you have 20 viewers, you'll be put above the person that has 2,000. Like it doesn't matter. So they get automatic like preferential. People click on the streams page; they're the first ones that you see. So like. That's cheeky. I love it. Yeah, some more uh, And I, I like how they have the green box around their streams too to yeah. signify that they're that's dope. Right. Yeah. Um shout outs on Twitter from our GG account. Um every time. Uh, you real live, quick, who it, handles it, that? Is that something that you do or do you have a person on the side that does that? Or your wife uh, or actually, girlfriend or whoever? Wife? No, it's me. It's um, okay. it's actually a, it's an app that I use. It's a IFTTT. So if this then that it's a it's a really good app I'd I'd suggest it to anybody it's um like an automation thing so the rule on my my app is if a Twitch channel goes live for a channel that I follow then and then it says tweet so and I can choose which you know channels I want so oh cool is the uh, does the Twitter hashtag play into that or is it just no, okay. No, the uh, the hashtag Greasy Gamer is just we set up a retweet account for that. So if you use hashtag Greasy Gamer, it auto retweets you. Okay. And then, right. um, sorry about that. If you can you can go back into. Oh, you good. Your sponsor um, stuff. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, we do that. Um, it doesn't matter at at this point, but once we get the full currency set up, the sponsor streamers get. Um, they're going to get 50 GG coins to their account. Mm -hmm. They can use that for advertising, for member upgrades, you know, help them get more eyes on their products as well. Um, Cause on the site right now you can, you can set up an ad, you know, five bucks or whatever. Uh, and then have an ad like, Hey, come check out my Twitch channel. And they'll just pop up on random people's feeds. And then for each yeah. click, it takes off like, 20 cents or something from that budget so, yeah i was oh. talking to kyle about um i was talking to kyle last night and i was telling him that i was thinking about quitting my job uh i'm gonna get into uh freelance art oh, work nice. so i i created a fiverr account and evan i was can I, browsing evan, can i stop you for just one second man i'm so sorry i love you you're <laughs> you're an amazing person <laughs> um vintage tr just rated us with a party 11 oh Speaking right. of which, she is a sponsored streamer of ours. Hey, yeah, that she's is amazing. Awesome. Um, What's okay. going on, everybody? 
So what's going on, everybody? Uh, thank you, Vintage Yara, for that raid party loving. Uh, for everybody new in the chat right now, I just want to give you a heads up. This is the Rundown Retrospect. We're three guys every week. Uh, we interview our up-and-coming streamer friends, and we get to know a little bit more about them on a personal level. So uh, right now, today, we're going over Greasy Gamer, his his website, what he's all about. We're going to get to know a little bit more about you know his video game side of history, just just everything. Right now, he's, uh, he's going over the website with us, telling us how we can get sponsored. Um... He may or may not have some greasy gamer beer in the works, so um, please uh, stick around if you wanna if you wanna hang out. Please hype the chat up, talk like uh, we're all a big family here. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining us. After after this, we will be running into the rundown podcast where uh, where we sit around and we go over the new video game news every week. Um, and also, don't forget too, uh, the rundown partner uh, rundown podcast is partnered with Extra Life, um, so we are helping raise money for um, MUSC's Children's Hospital that just so happened to open up during the midst of corona. Um, so please, that is to help raise money for um, MUSC's Children's Hospital for surgeries, bills, uh, everything. So so again, um, we we love you. We appreciate you. We hope you stick around. And um, hey, hopefully uh, hopefully you'll learn something and, and want to be part of the family. Uh, so right now we're going to we're going to jump back into uh, Mr. Greasy here. I kind of kind of cut uh evan off there so i do apologize about that man go ahead that's cool so uh basically <laughs> basically <laughs> hate my job and i want to quit i'm gonna get into freelance art i created a fiverr account i want to do some this. like He's emotes. Done that. <laughs> yeah emotes uh overlays uh whatever you know um so that is going to be like one of my side hustles i might try to find like a part-time job to like sustain myself a little bit more but like right now i'm grinding my budget down um so I, uh, I was talking to kyle last night about it and he brought up the whole marketplace thing so i'm gonna try to yeah man check it i'll out. probably I'll, yeah, I'll probably add that to the thing have it like redirect to my fiverr account push it through there so i can boost up i guess both platforms but uh yeah that'd be fucking dope yeah that'd be cool man Hey, Silent Killers, message me on uh, on Twitch. I want to talk to you for a second if you got some time. Um. Oh, you in uh. Okay, Busted. so we've hit uh we've hit that thirty minute mark. Um, I kind of I want to, you know, I really have enjoyed it, it, talking about your website. I mm -hmm. it gives me so much more confidence when we get our website up and running. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to be anything as awesome as yours is you know ours is going to be more of a it's not gonna be the same thing no it's, it's definitely not going to be the same thing um right. so you know we're, we're not we're not coming for you or nothing um it's ours you know ours is definitely going to be more of the you know the merch and you know where we'll post our videos from and news articles and you know what's going on in the podcast life and what to expand just okay. just just the whole nine so so it, it gives me a lot more confidence um hopefully that's going to be something that's going to be set up uh, hopefully by the beginning of April. Um, but right now, I, I kind of want to get more into you, if if you don't mind, like more more of you as you know as a gamer, um, okay. as a person. As I mean, as a person. Yeah, as, as, a, as human. a gaming uh, Homo sapien. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't heard that word in a long time, have you? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> dude. <laughs> For good fucking reason. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um what so talk to us about God damn, dude. gaming popular, thank you so much dude. gaming as a <laughs> um as a you know little kid a little greasy gamer gaming kid like where did that all begin for you so honestly um growing up um I never had an. I've never played Nintendo games. Like, see, I love it already. I love it because everybody that comes on here, it's the, oh, uh, you know, I I played the the Mario on the Nintendo. You know, played I played it. the Sonic on the Sega. Like, like this is awesome. Kid. And as long as just don't tell me your favorite game is Final Fantasy, and we'll be all right. Final Fantasy wasn't bad. I mean, it no, it wasn't bad. Game. But like, we had Even like three or four. We had like three or four guests back to back to back. Yo, what's your favorite game of all time? What Final game Fantasy. are you super excited for coming out in the future? Final Fantasy. Final Fan no. Sorry to hear about Final, Final Fantasy. I want to right. hear something different. But, no, sorry. 
Uh, but yeah, like you, so you started out on what PlayStation One? PlayStation One. Uh, went up to PS Two, PS Three, which honestly is my favorite system of all time. Um, PS Three, okay. I mean, the free internet, dude. Like, the, well, the free online play, like that was right. so cool. Oh, That's yeah. the only PlayStation I didn't have. What? We missed out on so yeah. much because we didn't do that. Oh, well, like yeah, I was always y'all behind. Jack- I was y'all, always uh, behind. Y'all jacked on like, over to uh, Xbox, didn't you? Uh, the Halo boys, huh? Yeah, well, uh, okay, so eventually. So, like, I had I had a Nintendo 64, and then the PlayStation 1 came out, right? I still had that. And then the PS2 came out, I got a 1. The 3 came out, I got a 2. And then I went in the Navy. So mm. And then, yeah, I got an Xbox. <laughs> and, and then I went and served my country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry for that. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Never again. Yeah, no, because uh, cause Evan and I used to share a, a 360 where we played, like, Assassin's Creed 1 and, like, the really shitty Vin Diesel video game. Wanted. Yeah. That was a good game. Wanted. Yeah, Wanted was good. Beat the uh, fuck out of that game. Wait, are you brothers? <laughs> Might as well be. Yeah. Might as well be. Yeah, we met um, 2008. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's been yeah. a fucking minute. We were both attached to the same ship, so... Uh, uh. Navy, Navy did it for both of us, so makes sense. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so so yeah, so, so what what was the first game on PS One? I'm curious. First game on PS One was um, freaking. I I don't know what it's called, but um, you know those little army soldiers, like oh small, like, uh, not get... small soldiers, uh, toy uh, soldiers, toy, toy, was it toy Is soldiers? It toy soldiers? I think so. Was it toy I soldiers? It was I'm holding. I'm a fact yeah. check right now. Or or was it just army men? Ar- oh, it might have been Army Men. Yeah. I don't know, bro, but it was Army like... Men, Toy Soldiers? No, Toy Soldiers was the movie back in 91. It was basically Call of Duty, but you were these little plastic dudes. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, was, remember, I remember that. That was Army yeah, Men. Army no, Men. Toy Soldiers was a, was a game. Hold on. But it was probably Small Army Soldiers Man. is the movie. Right. Small Soldiers is the movie. Sweet. But there was a Small Soldiers video game. But also... Yes. Army, Army Men. Men. Yeah, it was Army Men. It was totally Army yeah. Men. Yep. yep, yep. It was Army Men. Sarge's Heroes. Game. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hold on, that Sergeant Heroes, so that's man. what it was? No, it was yeah. World War, Land, Sea, and Air. That's what it was. That was the one I played. Oh, oh yeah. God. God, that, bring oh, back, that fun, brings dude. back memories. Dude, uh, I, I, just got, I just got hit, like, with nostalgia from Mike Tyson. Oh, just, like, yeah. Dude, that, that is, that's fantastic. Oh, so, that was, did, so did good. your nostalgia hit, your nostalgia hit you with a lisp? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the One Down Podcast. <laughs> the One Down with us back every Sunday for us back. at 7 p.m. <laughs> my, my PlayStation 1. Yes. Uh, for everybody in chat that yeah. doesn't know, yes, we do hire special needs. Um. So... <laughs> so yeah, that was Damn. that was my first game, man. I, I love that game. No, nah, dude, that was that, a good that's one. awesome. So you started out yeah. on the PlayStation, you know... You're a little kid gamer, you know. You grew up. You you hit puberty. You started talking to the girls. Did did I grow up? Uh, well, I mean, I hope not. Well, I mean, your body did. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so at that point, I'm kind of wondering. You know, did the, did the gaming ever phase out, or was it always a part of you, or did you take a break there for a while and then you kind of came back? You know, what was what was I'm, all that about? I loved gaming, mm-hmm. but. When I was younger, up through high school, like it was always baseball, baseball, baseball. Like I, pl- I, pl- I played so much baseball. I love baseball. I tell you, so you know, I hate it. Wait, 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 before we go any further, favorite team? What? Favorite baseball team? Oh, Detroit Braves. Braves? Oh, yeah. I fuck. What? Yeah, Braves nah. are sick, dude. Detroit. I mean, they yeah. suck. But they're good. Oh yeah, I mean, I got like a Chipper Jones autograph bat and stuff. Like, oh dude, um, yeah. Detroit. I, I love them. I have an autographed Tim Stammen ball somewhere, unrelated to the Braves, but it's baseball, so fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, noted. <laughs> um, yeah, Detroit dude, Tigers. So much. Ugh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I like uh, I like the Diamondbacks. There we go. Okay. See, I knew there was a little a uh, little hint of some sports ball in there somewhere. It, yeah, you know, right? dude. I was on the basketball team in high school. Like I. I played sports before. What? Before? Yeah. I <laughs> see. I I wish I knew Evan at ten years old so that we could have grown. Up. I, I I wish it, that. I grew up in Southern California. It was always just basketball in the apartment complex. You well, know, see, like it's either sports court. or like weightlifting. 
<laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got what, like Venice, heard, yeah. Venice Beach or some shit? <clears throat> Vince said San Francisco Giants all day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe it. when they had, like, Barry Bonds. But other than that, no. Vintage, yeah. you're in Arizona. Help me out. <laughs> I just, I just wanted, I, uh, other than like a few other baseball players, I think the Braves have cranked out more prolific players. Over that the and the years. Yankees. Yeah, Yankees too. Yeah, 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 so like Yankees and Braves are like the top Red two. Sox? Of, like, I'd say Red Sox. Uh, they would they would be on the list, but they they wouldn't be as high on the list. But I I do agree. Yeah. So do you I, all know Mookie Betts? I do. Yes. All right, so me and him used to play on a team together, like, coming up through the ranks. And uh, me and him would alternate out, like, shortstop and stuff. So um, I didn't even know it until, like, a few years ago whenever – I guess whenever he started making it big in the major leagues, I was like, I know that guy. <laughs> and, yeah, going back through all the pictures and stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, he was, he was my teammate. So. That's fucking baller, though. Hell hey, dude. dude, we used to be friends. <laughs> Hit me <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, man, you remember me? Um, Give my side a shout out. So, <laughs> what? So when when you do play, well, this is kind of a two part question here. But when you do play, um, what what do you normally play? But what are Greasy's more games that he prefers to play? Um, and the and the reason that I ask it like that is just the, is because I know that streamers I tend to they, they tend to play what's kind of hot for the viewers and then they they want to get more recognition towards what they're really trying to do but then on your off time you tend to kind of really play what you do want to play or what you really like. Um so I prefer to play Rainbow Six Siege. I'm into very like tactical strategic games where it's mm -hmm. like you have to use your brain. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty, you just run, drop, shot, jump. Like I hate that shit. Dude. Spin, like, duck, dodge, dive. So stupid. Yeah. And like, that's why. I think that's why I always no gravitated to. I think that's why I always gravitated to Battlefield over right, Call of Duty because yeah. there was more strategy involved, or you're just gonna yeah. die a lot. More. Yeah, I hate that shit. Where like Fortnite is like, oh god, where you just run right at somebody and wall. Like, I think, Damn, a house. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I was always really good at Call of Duty growing up and stuff. Like. I don't know. Like, that's just what we played. And then Free greasy. got into Fortnite and then playing Fortnite for a while, you switch to another game mm -hmm. and you just get decimated in other games because you're used to just running straight at people and like being able to build. So like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. How do you feel about Battlefront? Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, the PS2 version is one of my favorite games of all time. Star Wars Battlefront 2. One of my favorite so, games, but so I feel I like that falls up. Like, oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, you see that like, he hasn't played the PS4, or he's like, oh, that sucks. I, I just haven't played the new ones yet. I just because I, I was going to buy it, and then I heard all the, you know, reviews about EA and all that. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, they, aside, they, yeah. Aside from the loot box thing, like, it's a solid game. I like it. it. Yeah, they took out. They took out loot boxes. Uh, the gameplay is solid now, so it's it's not too bad. Bro, I have I have that, and I have Siege. So if you want to teach me some Siege, I'll play with you. Oh, Bro, I'll yeah. teach you some Siege. I'll teach both of you. I'll teach you some Valheim, Michael. Valheim. <laughs> I'll teach you. I'll there teach he goes you again. Nothing. I'm not good okay, at Okay, yeah, no, I, I have Siege. Man. I will teach you how to really go outside and make a fire with some rock and some sticks. I can do that. <laughs> oh, like in real life? Yeah, just get a big lighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah they're relatively Super easy. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, idiots. I yep. love these guys. Um, <laughs> okay, so so no, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, as you can see, you know, this is kind of where the where the nitty gritty of the video games uh, tend to mm -hmm. start. Um, you brought up the Fortnite comment just a second ago, but then you also brought it up earlier in in the podcast. I mean, is that mm -hmm. is that something you normally play, or is that something your wife tends to play, or how how does that work? So, we used to play Fortnite. We don't anymore, but right. it used to be like our thing. You know, every time we'd hang out, it was, you know, playing Fortnite or watching streamers play Fortnite. Um, it's just, it was it's a fun game. And then once it got to the point to where every little 11 or 12-year-old can build a mansion before you can even shoot them, is, I don't know. It just feels kind of pointless to play it unless you're 
playing it every single day for eight hours. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Because yeah. if you don't, you're getting left behind. It's just the way it is. So. Yeah, I, sure. I love Evan's take on why he doesn't play it. And, and I say it all the time. And his, his take is, has always been like, I don't want to play a game where I'm trying to shoot you and you're building a house in front of me. Like, it's the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, I, I mean... I don't get it. It stresses me out. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Are there any uh-huh. games coming up in the future that, like, you're super stoked and excited to play? Like, I, like I understand that, you know, the, the, the website and your, you know, your personal job and everything like that tends to tends to you know definitely come first but like mm-hmm. whenever you do have free time is there is there a game in the future that you're just excited to play um i really wouldn't i don't know man like i really wouldn't mind getting back into world of warcraft i used to play that a while back mm-hmm. but it's just the time commitment that re- it's required i can't so and yeah, right so- now it's just it's siege for me dude like that game it fills all my competitive drive that i have so it kind of gets that release out, and then you know, go back to coding. And do you have any like, uh, like offline? No, I wouldn't say offline, but like, oh well, yeah, I guess offline. But like games that aren't necessarily geared towards multiplayer. Like, like is there anything? Games? Yeah, like like story driven games. Me and my wife just bought Minecraft the other day, so I think we're gonna probably try and build like a zoo or something. All right. Yeah, I mean, I know Minecraft's like <laughs> dead I mean, silence. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm saying like Minecraft's kind of making like a, a pretty big surge right now. Like, it's not. I don't understand it, dude. I don't. I don't get the hype on it. But and see, and that, and that's kind of how yeah. I feel about Valheim. Is I just it's it's another survival game like Rust or Art yeah. Survival or anything like that. You know, it's going well, out, it's building, killing enemies. Do you, do you think it could be like? So the wave of uh, 2019, 2020 was like battle royales, or whatever. Da- do you think it's like evolving into the next genre is survival games? No, uh-uh. you don't no. think so. And the, and the reason that I think that is because every year, and if you go back, uh, definitely, please, by all means, please fact check me. But if you go back every year, there's always been a blow up of a survival game. Uh, last year was Rust. This year, it's Valheim. Next year, it'll be something different. I just think that COVID is helping it more than anything because, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, you know, unfortunately still stuck at home where they're just, they're not looking for anything like that Call of Duty or that Fortnite. They're not, you know, they may be playing that, uh, you know, story driven on their off time, but they're looking for just that super fun thing that they can just, do with their friends, you know, right. for, you know, three or four hours at a time and just have fun and build and everything like that. So, no, I, I think it's just, it's a pop. And will it go down? Uh, yeah, eventually. Um, do I think this one's probably going to stay up there a little bit longer than other ones? Uh, I do, but I also see it as kind of like an Animal Crossing thing where, you know, Animal Crossing, mm-hmm. like I've told Jeff and Evan a hundred times, Animal Crossing could not have come out at a better time than when it did because it came out at the beginning of COVID as soon as everybody got stuck at home. So, Mm -hmm. and then I think, and then after it did, oh, there's a child, um, is that a human spawn is that it after about what, at the way, can y'all say probably three or four months? Like, it disappeared. Like, yeah, it still gets its news articles, and it, and you still hear some people talking about it and things like that, but you definitely don't hear about it as much. It um, coincided with more, like, the Switch, um, like, lack of, mm-hmm. like, the ability to get one. Um, right. Because everybody's like, oh, if I can get a Switch, I can play Animal Crossing. Right, exactly. And, like, yeah, yeah so, like, I feel like that coincided with each other. So, like, if, if, if you had had the Switch available, more available, I don't think Animal Crossing would have been that big of a thing, because you still had, like, uh, breath of the wild you still had um like the mario stuff going on yeah but breath of the wild has been out for quite a while now by that point mm-hmm. yeah. um, i think what it comes down to is the top streamers whatever they play it blows up so mm-hmm. uh xqc he plays he was started playing rust and then everybody else jumped on it mm-hmm. uh 
you know, ninjas started playing Valorant. Everybody jumped on Valorant. So it's like. Yeah. Valorant, yes. Valorant, I definitely agree with you. You are 100% yeah. correct on that. I hate that. There's, there's no reason it should be doing better than Counter Strike, to be honest. Like, yeah. I don't know. CS is just such a good game. That, and that, that says a lot about Counter Strike. It's like, that's like a 10 year old game. Yeah. Um, and it's it's still, it still gets new players. Crazy. It's the same with League of Legends, I guess. I feel like it's. I don't know. MOBAs in general, I feel like, are just very repetitive at points. But yeah, what was that? Uh, Evan, what was that game we used to play a couple times? Um, <laughs> it, was, it was it was like a MOBA style, but it was like Heroes of the Storm. Um, uh, started with a P. Dota. No. Uh, Paladins. Paladins. Yeah, that was a thing we played. Mm. So, so are you? <laughs> I, okay, maybe yeah, it was just me. I know it was me and Alex that played Halogen. I thought you were in there at one point. You're. Oh no. Yeah. It was, it was a game that they. No, it wasn't Paladins, but it was kind of like that, where they had like it was like the tower defense, right? Yeah, it was Paladins. It was. It was uh, a game that they started and then they, like, stopped. Oh, doing Paragon. It. Okay. Paragon. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's it. it. Yep. Paragon. Okay, because Paladins is like Overwatch. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I liked yeah. Paragon until I had to start doing like all the cards and stuff. And so I yeah. just had Alex on the phone and he's just doing math in his head yeah. for me. He's like, put this here, this there. And I was like, okay, cool. This game sucks. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> when I got to uh, call somebody. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were over it over pretty yeah. quick. So are you, are you, are you a Dota fan, Greasy? Um, when I understand it, yes. But like watching these big tournaments, I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, uh, I was the only I reason I asked. The, strat, is, the, the only reason I asked is because that Dota has its own anime series coming out, so I just I wasn't Ooh. wasn't exactly sure. Fancy, okay. no. Cool. Um, so we're coming up here on the last few minutes of the rundown yeah. retrospect. Uh, Jeff, Evan, did y'all have any questions that we may have may not have gotten to that you want to maybe a little bit more elaboration on or anything of that nature? I'm just curious, where's Josie at? Hmm. Oh, you don't know about Josie, dude? Uh, what? You don't know about Josie? What? Uh, Josie's I saw the his, Josie emote. <laughs> uh, his, his, it's his dog, and it's, it's the most. What kind of dog is it? Thing. What kind of dog is it? Before I freak the fuck out. Oh, you got, oh, you got two of them. Yeah, so there's Josie. She's a fluffy. Pretty cool. Are those goldens? They're uh, Great Pyrenees. Oh, okay. We got a little puppy. I don't know if you can see him or not. Uh, a little bit in the, in the black right shading, the yeah. Aw, y'all, I'm so excited! I'm getting a dog next month. Look at, look at those little cuties, dude. <laughs> and yeah, they're, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And they're fucking white. Oh my god. Yeah. They're like little polar bears, dude. Hell yeah! Give them a coke and so, a smile. What? Well, absolutely Mando. beautiful. Dude. Oh yeah, uh, our little puppy's name is Mando. Yeah, yeah dope. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm naming our so. dog Sully. <laughs> Sully. Oh, That's imagine. Sasuke. When I get one, I'm gonna name it Sasuke. Sasuke. <laughs> yeah, man, Never mind. Like, I yeah, changed my mind. I'm gonna name it Sasuke. <laughs> I will live vicariously through all three of you. Do it, and I'll come over and steal your fucking dog. <laughs> no, I'm living vicariously, so that means that you're gonna have. Talking to me. Oh, I'm talking to you. Michael. Yeah, oh. Dingus. My bad. Sorry, God, both Jeff. Of you. Get your own dog. <laughs> <Shiny. Hey. laughs> uh, I mean, if you look at the chat, I made a uh, Josie emote. I don't know if y'all see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I saw yeah, that yeah. at the top. Yeah. That was awesome. Hell yeah, dude. She's cute. I I fucking love her, dude. She's uh, a fluffy girl. Oh fluffy girl, it's so fluffy. So I could die. We we at the Rundown Podcast, we you know, as much as Evan, Jeff, and I may not act like it sometimes, because we all tend to be little bitches at times. Mm -hmm. mainly, Speak for yourself. Mainly just Jeff. Um, I can vouch for that. We, <laughs> we, we're we a family, and uh, we, we love each other. Um, is there yeah. anything that us over here at the Rundown Podcast can do for Greasy Gamer, whether it's him personally or the site or his community? I would say just, you know, spreading the word, use the site, just, you know. Oh, we did. We, we, we have a rundown page on there. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So um, just 
I don't know, man. Yeah, other than that, just use the site. We add new features all the time. So if y'all have suggestions on what we could add that would help you all, in turn, it would help us because you would be on the site more, right? So just, you know, whatever we can do to help y'all. Let, help me, us. let me slide. I'll sling some ideas. Let me slide into that sponsor spot. Like, that's what. Just... Hey, we, we could start sponsoring podcasts. You never know. No. All right. Well, you need to let me know what. How, I need. how, do, how does how does one go about getting sponsored? Yes, okay. I think I don't think that's something you ever got into. Please, yes. Oh yeah, on the website there's a uh, at the footer there's a apply for sponsorship button, mm-hmm. and uh, it'll take you to a page that shows the requirements, the um, you know, to be considered, and then we just go through the applicants, scout them out, make sure that you know they fit kind of what we're going for as far as like the way they hold themselves because they're going to be representing us as a company. So we got to make sure that this person's not going on Twitter, you know, flaming people and whatever. So, but that's not the only reason we would dump shit like that. Yeah. I mean, but if you stop followers, all right, I'm halfway to the 500 followers. Okay. (laughs) Uh, but I mean, yeah, from like the business aspect of it, like you still have to be like cautious about what is put out on the internet. Like, yeah, it's, associated it's hard man because i've always been the mindset where like i don't have anything to hide like i'll just be transparent with you like you know but being that it's representing like an entire brand now it's like i had to be careful what i say so yeah Mm -hmm. yeah it's so it's different because it's not it's not not just greasy gamer anymore it's like greasygamer.com now right like yeah i think us as a all the members on the staff, we've come to an agreement to where I'm not supposed to use the Twitter anymore. So, why I have to use my own personal? Because I just I tend to respond to things that I shouldn't respond to on there. Oh, so you're mm-hmm. like Jeff? From, yeah, like where it's like if somebody's oh. you know talking shit, I don't enjoy that. So, no, I, I Jeff, don't don't even because anytime <laughs> anytime we get a hate comment, you're the first person I text. Jeff, go to the comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't play, dude. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So before we get out of here, I have one question for you, Greasy. Do we as a podcast have a chance to be sponsored? Is is there a, is there a light at the end of the tunnel for us? Uh, I, would, I mean, look, look here, Matt Lauer. <laughs> There's nothing stopping it, honestly. Right now, we don't currently, like, you know... We actually have never discussed sponsoring podcasts, which might not be a bad idea. So, yeah. Well, in all seriousness, the only reason that I asked was because I I think that's a great idea. And the reason that I think that's a great idea is because you do it for streamers, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right. But you had that as an award on your award show. So the, yeah. I kind of put the two and two together. So I, I just, I kind of think that would just because you had that, I just, I think that would be a good idea. That's a good idea for sure. I'll take it back to them. And cause I know we sponsor uh, like esports teams, like organizations. Mm-hmm. Um, That's not, this might be like a good um, conversation to have like off, off uh, broadcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just shooting my shot. You know, hey, that's, that's, right. I'm I just shooting my it. shot. I respect it. He's like, hey, Greasy, I think you're pretty. Like, what up, girl? You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like, if if you the mean, follower requirements like 500, but I only have like, you know, three, 400, well, whatever, you know, only have you know, like I'm 100 sure, like maybe they can make an exception. That's all I'm asking. You know, I'm not asking for like to have 50 followers oh, he, and be like, he's looking for that. Leave a penny, take a penny bullshit. <laughs> uh, well, greasy. I, I really appreciate you being on here today, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm Thanks not gonna lie. To, me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Jeff and I were talking probably about an hour, uh, before anybody got on. And I was like, bro, like I've, I've never talked to this guy before. Like, I've seen him one time on because I uh, I was at Evan's house uh, the day you were doing the award show so like we were there watching you because oh okay. we were nominated what's up hey, um so... traffic so yeah. like I you know I told him I was like dude I don't I don't know what the hell I'm gonna say to this guy like I've never talked to this guy you know he's not really a streamer like what the fuck do I say but 
with all that being said, I really enjoyed the podcast. I really enjoyed getting to know more of the brains behind the website and what you do. And, you know, just all around, you're just a super awesome guy to talk to. And, and I appreciate you taking um, about an hour out of your time to sit down and hang out with us, man. So thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Uh, anything I can do for for y'all as a podcast, let me know. If you need help with your website or anything, I mean, just shoot me a DM. Like, I'd be happy to help. Yeah, awesome. yeah dude, we'll, we'll definitely have to talk more, uh, whether it be about business-related stuff or even just on a fun whatever level. Because I know we, we pretty much met, I think just me using the site, I think is how we just kind of started getting introduced to each other and then kind of just branched from there. Uh, um, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know who the hell you were until Jeff came to me and was like, hey, we got nominated. I was like, for what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, on this for greasy what? on this greasy gamer website, we got nominated for a podcast. I was like, who the hell are they? And then once I figured yeah. it out, I was like, oh, y'all, go to this website. This website's great. You know, fucking vote. Let's go. <laughs> well, honestly, yeah. I, like, we hosted the award show, but I voted for zero people. Like, I had nothing to do with it. So yeah. the fact that y'all yeah. were nominated, that means that y'all are doing something right. Like, people are trying to give y'all recognition or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. We, doing I, and you know, I told you know, like I've told Jeff and Evan a hundred times before. At, at the end of the day, when it comes to the Rundown podcast, all I care about is getting the facts out there and getting the news out there. Because if there's anything I hate more than anything in the world, it's fake news. I hate fake, fake news. <laughs> oh my god, people knowing the wrong freaking information, especially when they try to argue with you about it, I hate it. We should we should do a fake news episode where we literally just say a <laughs> bunch of shit that's not true. That's fake. <laughs> and then um Jeff stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the other one, you know, with the rundown retrospect and I, I I'm getting to the point to where I think I'm going to credit Jeff for this segment because I really don't think I had anything to do with it is yeah, that dude. I, I, I've i come to love it so much more than I thought I would because we have become such good friends with so many people in the community and so many people that stream and so many people that do other things, I mean, other than just stream, um, that we want we want everyone else to know about them. You know, yeah. you know, if you don't come here for us, you know, come here for, for the people that we're hanging out with and getting to know. Um, yeah. And, you know, if you want to be conceited or cocky or whatever the case may be, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a win-win for everybody. They get to see you. They get to see us. This um, is, yeah, I, it's a really good idea as far as, like, creating a bridge for people to – this is, like, networking one-on-one right here. Like, mm -hmm. you're getting people on here that – you know, there's a lot of people that haven't really heard about the site, whatever. So mm -hmm. they're going to either watch this YouTube video or they're in chat right now where it's like, okay, what what is Greasy Gamer? Why are they featured on here? Like, who are they? And now they know. Yep. So it's like, that's the start of, you know. Right. And that, that was like the old, like, the retrospect started out as such a, <laughs> an unplanned thing. And it's, and it's developed so hard into what it is now. Like, it, it started out as just like, like, we had Tosk on, and that was like the first guest. And then we're like, hey, like, it's easier, right? To, and we should have guests on. And like we should make this a thing, and then just like it kind of all happened at one time, and then we're like, "Fuck, let's do this. Let's get more people on. Let's get more exposure into not just our community but other communities, and get more eyes on these streamers because like it's they're always undiscovered, right? They're not like untalented or whatever. It's just like they don't right. people don't know about. Them. So it's like it's a big ocean. Yeah. yeah, the more eyes you get on this that that person, um, the better it is for for them. Um, so like that was just kind of our our mindset was like, let's find these people that we enjoy, right? And bring them on so we can get to know them. And then these other people that hop in chat can get to know them. And hopefully that drives more people to their streams and, and you know, help them develop. Because at the end of the day, like, that's that's our ultimate goal, right? Like, it's just to be bigger than what we were before. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm behind it 100%. So, yeah, whatever I can do to help y'all. Um, I'll take it back to the guys too, see if maybe, you know, helping y'all out as far as like sponsoring the podcast or something. So. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, like I said, let's, 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 uh, let's do a little powwow off, off stream, off broadcast. Um, and, uh, we'll talk about it, 
see see what days you're available or, or whoever's all's available maybe do like a little discord chat or something okay uh yeah uh, um it, i'm off for the whole week so yeah, cause as much as i i cut and drink <laughs> i'm still i'm still kind of professional about things so <laughs> that's cool man yeah uh, um i appreciate y'all having me on here man it was, it was awesome yeah. yeah guys uh guys if you have not yet please go check out greasygamer.com uh you can set up your own profile uh, set up links and customize your own stuff. Make it to your fitting, uh, uh, and they they promote you. Uh, just use hashtag uh, Greasy Gamer and all your tweets and all that stuff. And then also on the site, uh, <laughs> they do all that stuff for you as well. So, um, but Greasy, promote yourself instead of let me do yeah, it. Yeah, man, I get your get your name I'm out terrible. there, brother. I can't promote those people shit. <laughs> so, GreasyGamer.com, social media for gamers. Uh, each person you refer with your affiliate link, you get a dollar. So do it. Oh, I haven't I haven't re-signed up yet. So I Jeff, got a dollar. Hey, Jeff, hey, ref, hey. Jeff referred me. Okay. <clears throat> Just <Hey>. saying. <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, no, dude, for real. Again, thank you so much. I'm I'm finally glad I got to talk to a, a ghost essentially because, like I said, I I hear your name all the time from. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I hear your name all the time from Kyle. Um, yeah. Kyle's always talking about Greasy Gamer. Dude, um, Kyle's such a cool dude. And I'm I'm so glad that you know I finally got to get you on here, um, guys. Everybody, I appreciate everybody for uh, tuning into this week's episode of the Rundown Retrospect. Um, please stay tuned. In about ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes max, we're going to be running into the Rundown podcast. Uh, we're going to be going over all the news from this week in the gaming universe. Um, we have everything from Joseph Ferris promising a thousand dollars to anyone who gets bored of It Takes Two. Valheim is breaking records. And also, Bungie commits to long-term development of Destiny 2, plans to tell new stories and the future IPs. Um, so if you're interested in any of that and more, please stay tuned for another 15 minutes. Um, we're going to get off here, take some potty breaks. We are going to say our goodbyes to uh, Greasy Gamer. Um, if you want to follow us, please. Um, we have Bid Daily Grin um, on everything from Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all of it. Uh, I am Hefe Plays. Um, I'm not the big social media guy, so I tend to just kind of stick around the uh, the Rundown podcast so you can find the Rundown podcast on everything. And, of course, Greasy Gamer up top. And, as always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and we will see you all next week. Bye, everybody. Cool. Peace, y'all.